Panther fans, welcome to the home opener. Great Plains Lutheran Panthers taking on the Tri-State Tigers. Starting lineups were just announced and starting for the Panthers here this evening, Hallie Bauer, Catherine Paul, Abby Jenstead, Olivia Holman, and Esta Cameron. The Tigers start out with the ball. And right away it's out of bounds. Tiger basketball. Number three, Isley Rabbit taking it out of bounds right now. Gets it over to number 14, Jenstead breaks it up. Rabbit head with the ball. She passes it over to Jasmine Owen. Working it inside for the Tigers. Tigers up and in for the first two points of the game. Try stayed up two, nothing here in the first quarter. Now Bauer bringing it down the court. Trying to get it inside to Holman, but she cannot. The Tigers come up with the ball. Rabbit head with the ball over to Owen. Owen drives, kicks it back out. Tigers looking to get something inside. Shot clock at 18. Owen with the ball. She passes it over to Rabbit head, working it around the perimeter. Number 22, Macy Fritz with the ball. They try for three, air ball. Panther basketball. Esther Cameron's gonna take it out, but Tri-State's got the full court press going here tonight. Like I said, home opener here for the Panthers. Panthers are three and one already on the season. Just coming off a nice pair of victories in Milwaukee at the Lutheran Invitational Tournament at Wisconsin Lutheran College, taking the championship of that tournament. Panthers get the ball, trying to get it in against this full court press of the Tri-State Tigers. Jenstead takes the ball, 
and she's fouled. Number three, Isley Rabbithead with the foul. Panther basketball out of bounds. Cameron taking it out again. She gets it into Bauer. Bauer kicks it back. But it's an over and back on the Panthers. Early on in the game here, we got 2 0 Tri State Tigers. Panthers trying to break this full court press of the uh, Tigers. Here we go, student section with the defense cheer here on Christmas night. All the students are decked out in their Christmas finest. A three attempt for the Tigers and no good. Jenstead now with the ball. She brings it up past half court. She drives it all the way in and she can't get it to go, but she is fouled. She's got two shots coming up. Jenstead just named uh, to all tournament team of that Lutheran Invitational Tournament this past weekend. Coming off a great weekend. Misses the first of the pair. Jenstead for the second, and she gets it. 2-1 Tri-State. Jenstead gets the Panthers on the board. Rabbit had ahead, but that pass is too much to handle. Panthers get the ball. Trying to break this press of the Tri-State Tigers. Holman up to Bauer. Bauer up to Prawl. Prawl wide open, but too much to handle. And it's going to be Tri-State basketball. Right now it's 2-1 Tri-State up. Just about two minutes gone here in the game. Number 22, Macy Fritz over to number 12, Jasmine Owen. Owen loses control a little bit over to Rabbithead. Rabbithead tries to get it inside to number 14, Shaley Lawrence, but we've got a foul. That's a foul and it's gonna be Tiger basketball on the baseline. Lawrence, and that's tipped out of bounds. Gonna stay down on this end for the Tri-State Tigers. Lawrence into Rabbithead. Rabbithead drives, puts it up, and no good. Holman comes up with a rebound, and she is fouled. So the Panthers will have the basketball again. And again, they're going to try to break this uh, full court press here. Almost had them last time, but a little too much mustard on that ball going down to Prawl. So Holman, she's bringing it up now. Holman over to Bauer. Bauer gets it across. Called for 10 second violation. Didn't get it across in time. So this full court press of the Tri-State Tigers really given the Great Plains Lutheran Pan Panthers fits here to start the game. Just can't seem to figure it out. Owen with the ball. Bauer pokes it away but Owen regains control. Now we got Rabbit head on with the ball. Prawl putting on the defense. Number 23, Taylor Lawrence. Loose ball on the floor. Prawl comes up with it. They're going to call it a jump ball, and it's Panther basketball. This is an Eastern Coteau Conference game, so not only a home opener, but also the conference opener for the GPL Panthers here tonight. Cameron into Holman. Holman bringing it up. The long pass to Jenstead. Jenstead gets control. She gets it up and in, and the foul. So Jenstead with the first three points of the game for the Great Plains Lutheran Panthers, and she's got a chance to make it four. And she gets the hoop, the harm, and one. Panthers up four to two. Owen with the ball, and Jenstead steals the ball. She drives, 
shoots, rims out, but Bauer comes up with the loose ball. Prawl up and in, and the Panthers take a 6-2 lead. Good defense by the Panthers. Getting the takeaway. Jenstead with another takeaway, her second steal in a row. Two possessions in a row, two steals. Jenstead up to Holman at top. Holman down to Cameron. Cameron up and in. 8-2, Panther lead. Tri-State's going to call a timeout. They're going to want to talk about it. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Welcome back, coming out of the timeout here. Panthers up eight to two on the campus of Great Plains Lutheran. Panthers eight, Tri-State two. And now the Panthers are gonna put out in the full court press as well. Rabbithead with the ball. She's being stopped by Prawl and Holman. Up to Owen. Owen up to Fritz. And it's stolen away by Madeline Prawl. Catherine Prawl with the ball up to Cameron. Cameron with the left hand, and it's in. 10 to 2. Panthers putting on the pressure once again. Rabbit head with the ball. Thinking about the three, taking the three, rimming out. And the Tigers save the ball. She comes up with it again. Holman with the big block. Number 14, Shaley Lawrence goes up, and she is fouled. Shaley Lawrence followed by number one, Hallie Bauer. And that's her first of the game. First free throw is good. Cut that lead to seven. Second free throw off the rim and the Tigers come up with it. Haley Gawkler comes up with it. And she's called for travel. See if Tri-State puts on the press again here. No, nope, they're going to give uh, the Panthers. Panthers uh, take the pressure off the Panthers. Panthers, Bauer with the ball. She brings it up, passes it off to Prawl. Prawl has it poked away. Prawl over to Holman, back to Prawl. Prawl drives into her sister. Madeline Prawl goes up, and it's good. 12-3, GPL. Rabbithead bringing it up the court, passing it off to Owen. Owen to the left, takes it in, no. Kicks it out to Gawker. Number 22, Macy Fritz with the ball, back up to Rabbithead. Trying to work it inside. And Esta Cameron hits the floor. For three, no good. Cameron comes back up with a rebound. Bauer pushing the pace up to Prawl. Prawl drives, shoots over the rim. Tri-State with the ball. They're trying to push it up. Rabbit head up, and it's good. Tri-State Tigers five, GPL Panthers 12. Bauer now crosses the timeline. Bauer over to Prawl. Prawl over to Holman but Tri-State breaks it up. Gawker with the ball, she's trying to get it up. She puts it up, no good, foul on Holman. Panthers have three fouls for the quarter. New rules here in South Dakota this year. Five fouls per quarter and then you're in the bonus. Tri-State hits the first free throw. And then the fouls reset every quarter. So, uh, and it's a double bonus right away. So they get two free throws right away. So five fouls per quarter, anything over five, you're shooting free throws. New rules here this year in South Dakota. 
and Tri-State misses the second one. Madeline Prawl comes up with the ball and Bowers bringing it up. Bauer crosses half court. Bauer to her left, back to Prawl. Prawl into her sister, Madeline Prawl. Prawl gets it taken away by Jasmine Owen. But Catherine Prawl takes the ball back. Now we've got a fight for the ball. It's a jump ball, and it's going to be Tri-State with the possession. Got a student section here tonight. They've got their Christmas gear on. Gunther P. Luther, the mascot. He's even in the festive mood. He's got his Christmas sweater on. Tri-State going for the triple. No good. Jensen comes up with the rebound. Bauer pushes it up to Madeline Prawl. Over to Cameron. Cameron up and in. 14-6 Panthers. Minute and a half left here in the first quarter. And we're getting the defense cheer going here. On the campus of Great Plains Lutheran. Tri-State inside. No good. Jensted with the rebound again. Bauer pushing the pace once again up to Madeline Prawl. Madeline Prawl tries to get it over to Catherine, but it's kicked out of bounds by Tri-State. Jensted going to take the ball out of bounds. Jensted looking, finds Bauer. Bauer goes to her right into Madeline Prawl. Prawl up, no good. And it's going to be a foul. A foul on Madeline Prawl. That's her first of the night. Four fouls each for both Great Plains Lutheran and Tri State. Owen with the ball. Over to Fritz. Fritz to Gawker. Off her foot, and Catherine Prawl tries to get in there, get the loose ball. But they're all tangled up. It's a jump ball, and it's going to be Great Plains basketball. Got a few Santa hats here in the crowd today. Some Christmas sweaters. Everybody's getting in the festive mood. Even one student has Lights draped around his neck. Panthers can't control the ball. Out of bounds, it's going to be Tri-State. Tri-State bringing it up the court. You got Macy Fritz with the ball. Fritz looking for somebody. Fritz finding Olivia Geffrey. And then Gawkler for three, no good. Jensted comes up with the rebound. Jensted pushing the pace a little too much over the head of Madeline Prawl. And it's going to go back to the Tigers. We got a timeout by the Panthers. We'll be back. Welcome back to Great Plains Lutheran. We're back here with uh, just under 14 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Tri-State has the ball, but GPL is leading 14 to six. Number 22, Macy Fritz tries a three, no good. Bauer comes up with it. Jensted tries to get in at quarter break.
And we're back here to start the second quarter with the Panthers up 14 to six. Tri-State tries to get on the board right away. No good. Bauer comes up with the rebound and it's gonna be a foul on Tri-State over the back. And they've got their first team foul of the quarter again. New rules, team fouls reset every quarter now. Bauer tries to work it inside to Jenstead, gets it inside to Jenstead, just misses. Tri State with the rebound. Jasmine Owen brings it up the court for Tri State. She kicks it over to Haley Gockler. Now, Isley Rabbit head with the ball. And we got a offensive foul. Yeah, not quite sure what happened there. Appeared to be an offensive foul, but it didn't. Uh, that's what it looked like the call was, but they didn't put it on the board. So not quite sure what the violation was. Catherine Prawl underneath on the baseline, and she travels. Home opener, conference opener here for GPL tonight. Isley Rabbit head going to her left, now to her right, looking for an open player. Goes inside, and it's blocked by Holman. That's her second block of the game, and the Panthers are going to push it down the court. Catherine Prawl to Cameron up, and no good, but she's got the foul. She's headed to the free throw line to shoot two. Second team foul of the quarter for Tri-State Tigers. First one is good for Cameron. 15-6 Panthers. Tigers gonna substitute. In comes Shaley Lawrence and Macy Fritz for Tri-State. Second one no good. Tri-State tries to get it up, but Holman comes up with a steal. She gets it to Bauer. Bauer taking charge, taking it across the court. Over to Jenstead. Jenstead looking for somebody open over to Cameron. Cameron, the little floater, no good. But Holman's there for the rebound. Holman's there to put it back. Holman's there to put him up 17-6. Jasmine Owen now with the ball. Tri-State looking for the bucket, can't get it to go. Jensted comes up with the rebound again. She's got to have at least three or four this first half already. Bauer gets it up to Catherine Prawl. Catherine Prawl to her left. Bauer for three, and it's good. Release, rotation, splash. Panthers are up 20-6. Poked away by the Panthers, gonna be Tri-State's ball. Isley Rabbit Head comes in for the Tigers. Jasmine Owens gonna take a seat, and the Tigers are gonna get their out-of-bounds play organized. Tigers looking for somebody. Good defense by the Panthers. They get it in the Gawkler. Gawkler gets it inside. Number 24. Olivia Geffrey tries to get it up, but doesn't get it in, and the Panthers come away with the ball. Now inside to Holman. Holman looking to get it up, but the Tigers steal it away. Shaley Lawrence now bounces it off her foot, and that's gonna be over and back on the Tigers. Panther basketball. Madeline Prawl coming in for GPL. Abby Jez Jenstead going out. Jenstead's had a good second half, first half, I should say. First half here. Great Plains Lutheran. Bauer now over to Cameron. Cameron to her left to Prawl. Prawl kicks it over to Bauer. Bauer back to Holman. Holman back to Bauer. Bauer tries to work it back inside, but it's stolen by the Tigers. Tigers, Shaley Lawrence. Kicks it over to Taylor Lawrence. Taylor 
over to Macy Fritz. Fritz back to Lawrence. And the Tigers take a three. And it goes in. But it's no good. It hit the top of the backboard out of bounds. The only time those count is when you're playing horse on the playground with your buddies. Off the backboard, in the hoop, nothing but net. But it doesn't count here in the game. Catherine Prawl over to Bauer. Bauer to her left. Gets poked away, but Prawl comes up with it. She tries to get it inside. Madeline Prawl can't handle it, and it goes out of bounds. Jensted coming back in, Cameron going out. There's going to be a full timeout. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Welcome back. Panthers up 20 to 6 with about four minutes left here in the first half. Tri State Tigers have the ball. Icely Rabbit Head goes to her left. Poked away by Bauer. Tri State regains control. They get one up and they get one in, and they've got eight points. 20 to 8. Great Plains Lutheran up in this Eastern Coteau Conference matchup. Abby Jensted to her left, drives the lane, puts it up and in. 22 to 8, GPL. Icely Rabbit Head over to Macy Fritz. Macy Fritz gets it poked away, stolen. Holman comes up with it. She gets it to Bauer. Coach Matt Bauer calling out the plays. And we've got to travel. Few too many steps there for Haley Bauer. For any of you uh, Packer fans out there, Packers lead 7 0. If you're watching GPL instead of the Packers, I know there's a few Packer fans out there. Packers are up by a touchdown right now at the end of the first quarter. Probably got GPL on the big screen, so got to give you guys some updates. Panthers steal it away, 22-8, three minutes left in the first half. Bauer with the ball. She tries to get it over to Holman, but it is stolen away by Taylor Lawrence. Shaley Lawrence gets it over to Rabbithead. Rabbithead drives with the left hand, but no good. Tri-State kicks it back out. Shaley Lawrence. Macy Fritz at the top. Rabbit head into Lawrence. Lawrence, little crowded there. Good D by the Panthers and the Tri State Tigers traveled. Nice victory by the JV squad here this evening. They beat the Tri State JV 49 4 just before this one. And it looks like we got an illegal screen on Cameron. That's her first foul of the evening. About two minutes left here in the first half. The home opener for GPL. Rabbit head goes in, tries the little left-handed finger roll. No good. She gets a rebound. 
goes back up and it's a foul on GPL. She's going to head to the line for a pair of free throws. Two shots for Tri-State. Rabbit Head misses the first half of her two free throws. Second one no good as well. And Cameron comes up with the ball. And it is going to be a foul on Tri-State. Tri-State going to try to put on the pressure again, the full court press. Cameron looking for an open Panther. She get, finds Holman. Holman over to Cameron. Cameron kicks it into Jenstead. Jenstead over to Cameron. Cameron to Bauer. Bauer for three. No good. It's going to be Tri-State ball out of bounds. Tri-State brings it up the court. Rabbit head kicks it inside, back outside, and that's a three by Jasmine Owen. Tri-State putting on the full court press again. Panthers get it across half court. Holman takes it in, puts it in. The prawl, prawl no good. Jensted back up and in. 24-11, Great Plains Lutheran. Tri-State gets it inside, but good defense by Jensted and Holman. Knocked it out of bounds, but good defense inside. Tri-State looking for somebody. They get the bucket. That's Macy Fritz. 13 points for the Tigers. Oh, Cameron looking for Bauer, but a uh, little out of sync there. Ball goes out of bounds, and Tri-State going to take over. Just under a minute to go here in the first half. Jasmine Owen. Now we're back up top to Macy Fritz. Fritz back inside to Rabbithead. Rabbithead up with the left and in. 24-15, GPL leads. Tri-State putting the full court press on. <laughs> and that full court press is giving the Panthers fits here tonight. 28.7 seconds. Here in the first half, Madeline Prawl reaches for the stars and grabs that ball out of the air and steals it away from Tri-State. Jensted with the ball. Over to Cameron. Cameron drives, shoots, scores. 26-15, 10 seconds left. Tri-State, rabbit head with the ball. She's directing traffic. She tries to get it inside, but there's nobody home. Out of bounds, Panther basketball with 1.6 seconds to go. Catherine Prawl checks in for her sister, Madeline Prawl. Let's see what the Panthers can do here in the final 1.6 seconds. Holman to Jensted. Jensted's just going to hold it, ride it out, and the Panthers are going to go to the locker room with a 26-15 lead. We'll be back after half.
Welcome back for the second half. Great Plains Lutheran Panthers versus the Tri-State Tigers in this Eastern Coteau Conference matchup and the home opener for Great Plains Lutheran. Great Plains Lutheran opens the second half with a 26-15 lead. Catherine Prawl kicks it over to Cameron. Cameron gets it over to Jensed, but Tri-State ties it up and it's gonna be a jump ball and Tri-State's gonna get it. Few first half stats here. Esta Cameron leads the way for the Great Plains Lutheran Panthers. She's got nine points. Abby Jensed with eight. Isley Rabbithead with the ball. And she's the leading scorer for the Tri-State Tigers with six points. Tri-State taking it out of bounds. Rabbithead calling out the play. She gets it up to Shaley Lawrence. Lawrence passes it over to Macy Fritz and she can't hang on to it. It's gonna be Panthers basketball. Rounding out the scoring for the Panthers. Hallie Bauer has three. And then Catherine Prawl, Holman, and Madeline Prawl all added two points in the first half. Catherine Prawl with the ball now kicks it over to Bauer. Bauer cross court to Jenstead. Jenstead inside to Holman. Holman put, trying to put the power move on. Can't get a handle on it. Kicks it over to Bauer. Bauer to Prawl. Prawl to Jenstead. Jenstead drives back to Holman. Holman over to Cameron. Cameron up and no good. Cameron, though, comes up with the rebound. Gets it back up top to Prawl. Prawl over to Jenstead. Jenstead over to Bauer. Bauer for three. Yes. 26-15, that's her second three of the game. Bowers got six, GPL has 29. Tri-State now tries to work it inside, but another jump ball, Catherine Prawl ties it up, and it's gonna be GPL basketball. Tri-State gonna put on the full court press once again. The Panthers, trying to break the press, and they do. They get it to Prawl, Prawl takes it across. She drives, tries to kick it inside to Holman, but uh, turnover for the Panthers. Tri-State, Lawrence, looking for a teammate. Didn't quite have one that was open. Poked away by the Panthers, but stays with Tri-State on the baseline. Rabbithead kicks it into Lawrence. Lawrence, three. Yes. Tri-State, 18 points. GPL, 29. Jenstead, over to Cameron. Cameron can't handle it. Kicks it back out to Prawl. Prawl, back to Cameron. Cameron inside to Holman. Holman up, no good. But she's gonna shoot two. Shooting two. for Holman. No good. Foul was on number three. Isley Rabbit had it's her third foul of the game. Holman, the second free throw. Rims out. Tri-State comes up with the ball. Lawrence, cross midcourt. Lawrence looking for a teammate. Lawrence over to Gockler. Gockler over to Fritz. Fritz goes to her right, kicks it back out. Number 23, Taylor Lawrence tries the three, no good. Fritz tries to get it in, no good. Knocked out of bounds by the Panthers and it's gonna be Tri-State basketball. Got number two, 22, Macy Fritz. Gets it inside to Lawrence. Lawrence gets the two, cuts the lead to nine. 29-20, Great Plains Lutheran. Jenstead with the ball over to Holman. Holman over to Prawl. Prawl back to Jenstead. Jenstead inside, up, no good. Little fight for the rebound there, but Tri-State comes up with it. Tri-State pushing the pressure. And Jensen knocks it out of bounds. Gonna be Tiger ball.
Lawrence with the ball, kicks it over. Now number 22, Macy Fritz tries the three, no good. Another tie up, another jump ball, another tri-state out of bounds play. Macy Fritz looking for another Tiger, to, gets it inside. Shaley Lawrence tries to get it inside, ball mishandled. Bauer comes up with it, Bauer up to Jenstead. Jenstead drives, kicks it over to Cameron. And we got another foul on the Tigers. This time. It's on number 23, Taylor Lawrence. That's her third foul of the game as well. We're only about three minutes into the second half and got a couple of Tigers with three fouls and Cameron's got another basket. Cameron's got 11 points here tonight. Number 12, Jasmine Owen, she tries to get it to a teammate but is broken up by the Panthers. Bauer gets it over to Prawl. Prawl gets it across midcourt against that pressure of the Tri-State Tigers. Prawl over to Bauer. Bauer into Madeline Prawl. Madeline Prawl powers her way up, but the basket's going to be no good. Foul was on the floor. Foul was on the floor. Jenstad gets it, tries to get it in the crawl. Ball's loose on the floor. Another jump ball. It's going to be Panther basketball. Bauer inbounds it to Prawl. Prawl kicks it back to Bauer. Bauer inside to Madeline Prawl. Madeline Prawl, a little too far underneath the basket and it's knocked out of bounds by Tri-State. Thirty-one twenty. Panthers have a nine point lead. Cameron inside, back outside to Prawl. Kicking it around the perimeter to Jensted. Jensted drives up, no good. Shooting two free throws. That's the fourth team foul for Tri-State this quarter. Cheerleaders trying to get the crowd fired up here. Jenstead hits the first of two. 32-20 for the Panthers. Jenstead hits the second, hits them both. 33-20, Panthers extend the lead to 13. Got Jasmine Owen looking, gets it to Fritz. Fritz takes it to her right, takes it in, puts it up. Too many Panthers inside, and they come away with the basketball. And we've got a push on the Tigers. That's their fifth team foul of this quarter, and we're shooting free throws. Again, new rules here in South Dakota this year. Five team fouls a quarter. Once you hit that, you're shooting two free throws in the bonus. Fouls reset every quarter. So three and a half minutes left here, so the Panthers are going to be shooting free throws for the next three and a half minutes of this first quarter. Second, third quarter, I should say. This game is flying by. Third quarter, Jensen hits both, extends the Panther lead to 15. Tri-State, Rabbit had three, air ball. Tri-State again, number 12, Jasmine Owen, she gets one to go. 35-22, GPL has the lead. Prawl with the ball inside to Cameron. Cameron. Dribbling it around, looking for an open teammate. Prawl with the ball, Prawl to Bauer. Bauer looking for somebody. Gets it to Cameron, Cameron gets it into Prawl, and it's gonna be another Tiger foul. And it's gonna be another 
pair of free throws for the Panthers. Madeline Prowl misses the first of two bonus free throws. She's got two points. See if she can get three here. The second free throw of the bonus. That one rims out and Rabbithead comes up with the rebound. Rabbithead gets it across midcourt. Rabbithead thinking about shooting. She gets it inside to Lawrence. Lawrence is fouled. She's going to go to the charity stripe. Rims out. Number 22, Macy Fritz coming in for Olivia Geffrey. She's going to take a rest. And Lawrence is going to shoot the second free throw. And that one's good. 35-23. Tri-State putting the full court press on. Holman over to Bauer. Bauer up to Cameron. Cameron over to Prawl. Prawl up to Prawl. And Prawl up and no good. Holman goes up, and she gets fouled. It's going to be another two free throws. This is going to be a free throw shooting clinic here the rest of the third quarter with two and a half minutes left. And the Panthers already in the bonus. Holman gets the front end of the two shots. And the second of two is good. 37-23, GPL Panthers. Tri-State trying to get something going here on offense, but the Panthers have had good defense all night long. Rabbithead looks for the three and another air ball. And the call on the floor is a kicked ball on the Panthers, so Tri-State will take it out. Number 13, Haley Gockler over to Jasmine Owen. Owen tries to kick it back, mishandled, out of bounds, Panther basketball. But the pressure is still being put on here, the full court press of the Tri-State Tigers. We got all 10 players down here on the court this time. Gets it up to Bauer, Bauer with a fast break. She puts it up and it's blocked by Owen. Blocked and out of bounds, so Panthers will get the reset here with an out of bounds play. That's Tri-State's first block of the ball game. Jenstead gets it inside to Holman. Holman hands it off to Bauer. Bauer over to Prawl. Inside to Prawl. Bauer for three. No good. Fritz with the left hand up the court, over to Gockler, Gockler, air ball. Owen puts it back up for two. Catherine Prawl. To Bauer, Bauer back to Prawl. Prawl to Prawl, the Prawl to Prawl connection. Got a couple Prawls here on the team. And Owen puts it up. The hoop and the harm. She's going to try for the old-fashioned three-point play. Panthers with 39 points here. Holman going to try to get them to 40. And she does. <laughs> Olivia Geffrey is coming in the ball game now, and Believe number 14, Shaylee Lawrence has taken a seat. Rabbithead's got the ball and she gets it past the timeline. Rabbithead to her left, being defended by the Prawl sisters. Oh, and Olivia Holman, believe that's her third block of the game, pushing the pace up to Madeline Prawl. Prawl up and good. 41 25, GPL extends the lead. We got a minute left in this third quarter. 
Tri-State looking to get something going here on offense, but the Panther defense is putting the pressure on. Rabbit head being defended by Catherine Prawl. Catherine Prawl with her arms straight up, kicks it out. They thought about the three, didn't take it. Rabbit head back with the ball. Rabbit head looking. Catherine Prawl putting on the big D, and it's a shot clock violation. Solid D by the GPL Panthers. Hallie Power gets it, and it's a fast break. No contest. She puts it up an easy two points for the Panthers. And they got a 43-25 lead, and Tri-State's calling a full timeout. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Welcome back to the third quarter here. 19 seconds left and Tri-State pushing it up the court. They get it up. Madeline Prawl gets her hand in and she looked like she tipped it out, but it appears that it was off the Tigers. Going to be Panther basketball with 13.3 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Panthers lead 43-25 in this Eastern Cattell Conference game. Home opener for the... Panther girls basketball team, three and one on the season so far. Only loss coming to number two ranked Sisseton. Bauer tries to get one in before the end of the third quarter and no good. And we'll be back with the fourth quarter here at GPL. Welcome back, final quarter here at GPL. Panthers leading Tri-State Tigers 43 to 25. Tri-State with the ball. Macy Fritz down to Gawkler. Gawkler tries to get it inside and she gets the ball back after it gets poked out. Rabbit head over to Fritz. Fritz to her right down the lane. She puts it up, no good, but a foul and she'll be shooting two free throws. 
Foul is on number 12, Jenstead, her second of the game. First one bangs in. 43 26 Panthers. Second free throw attempt from Fritz. Bangs out. Off the rim. No good. Catherine Prawl now with the ball. Over to Bauer. Bauer looking inside. Doesn't have anything. Back to Prawl. Prawl over to Cameron. Kicking it around the arc to Jenstead. Jenstead hands it off. Bauer inside to Cameron. Cameron kicks out. Prawl to Holman. Rims out. And Lawrence comes up with the rebound. Lawrence over to Gockler. Gockler looking for something. Can't find it. Back to Lawrence. Lawrence to Fritz. Fritz for three. Good. Fritz gets on the board with a three-pointer. Jenstead trying to answer, and it rims out. Gawkler bringing the ball up. She passes it ahead to Fritz. Fritz up and in. Getting something going here for the Tri-State Tigers with six and a half minutes left in the game. Inside to Jenstead. Jenstead up. No good, but Jensen gets her own rebound, kicks it out to Bauer. Bauer's going to take the three. No good. Jensen tries to tap it back to Bauer. It goes off a Tri-State Tiger, and it's going to be Panther basketball. Bauer taking it out of bounds, passing it in to Prawl at the top of the key. Prawl back to Bauer for three. No good. Number 13, Gawkler up to Fritz. Fritz gets tied up with Bauer, and it's going to be a Panther basketball. They've got the possession arrow. Panthers with a 12-point lead here. Six minutes left in the game. 43-31. Bauer thought about it, tried to get it into Holman. She couldn't handle it. Jenstead comes up with it. Jenstead comes up with a basket. It should be 45 to 33. There we go. Now it gets on the scoreboard. 45-33. First home game here, folks. But he's still learning where all the buttons are. Holman comes up with the rebound or the loose ball. Not quite sure if that was a shot or a pass. Catherine Prawl over to Cameron. Cameron inside to Holman. She's double teamed. She gets it into Jenstead. Jenstead up and in. 47 to 31. Great Plains Lutheran. The Panthers are averaging 52 points in their first four games. We're getting close, folks. Five points away from their season average. Shaley Lawrence goes up. She gets the hoop in the harm. She's going to try for the three-point play here. She goes to the line. Foul was on number 23, Esta Cameron. It's her third foul of the evening. Lawrence <laughs> gets the friendly bounce, and the Tigers get the point. Catherine Prawl up to Jenstead. Jenstead trying to get it into Madeline Prawl. Back to Jenstead. Back out to Prawl. Back to Jenstead. She's thinking about the three. She's going to take the three. And Madeline Prawl's there for the rebound. Tries for the putback. Doesn't get it. Tries for the rebound again. But might have been over the back. Probably was over the back. It was over the back. Two fouls for Madeline Prawl here this evening. 47-34 Panthers. Just under four and a half minutes left to go. Got the D up cheer going from the Panther bench. Rabbit Head thinks about the three and no good. Madeline Prawl skies for the rebound. Bauer, Bauer pushes at the Cameron. Cameron up and in. 
Panthers have 49 points. Rabbit head with the ball. Tough D by Catherine Praldo. Foul called on the Panthers. That's their fourth of the quarter. Foul is on Prawl. A little too good a defense then on Prawl. Number 10, Catherine. Two Prawls on the court right now. 24, Madeline, the older sister. Number 10, Catherine, the younger sister. Cameron takes it out, gets it to Catherine. Catherine up to Jenstead. Jen said in the Madeline, Madeline out to Cameron. Cameron from the corner, no good. Shaylee Lawrence comes up with the rebound. She's pushing it up the court. Tigers looking to get it inside, up and in by number 14, Shaylee Lawrence. 49-36, and Panthers want to talk about it. Timeout, we'll be back. We're back here with 3.15 left in the game. Panthers up 49-36. GPL versus the Tri-State Tigers. Tri-State. Panthers, Bauer for three, no good. Madeline Prawl with the rebound over to Holman, no good. Tri-State comes up with the rebound. Number 14, Shaley Lawrence pushes it up. She tries to get it inside to Fritz, but Holman breaks it up. Out of bounds on the Panthers, Tiger basketball. Tigers get it into Lawrence. Lawrence goes up, and the foul is going to be on Cameron. She had both hands in the air, but uh, the refs must have seen it a little differently. Must have been a little body contact. Lawrence gets the first free throw. Fifth team foul for the Panthers. Lawrence gets the second. Cuts the lead to 11. Try for the, try to be st stolen away by Taylor Lawrence. She tried to steal, got the foul, and that was number five. She's fouled out of the game. Catherine Prawl into Cameron. Cameron looking for somebody. She tries to get it inside to Holman, but stolen away by Lawrence. Lawrence to Rabbithead, Rabbithead. She's going fast, and it's turned over. Catherine Prawl gets it, kicks it up to Madeline Prawl. Madeline Prawl to Holman. They're going to slow it down and reset the offense. 2.15 left in the game. Bauer with the ball over to Holman. Holman to Bauer. Bauer inside to Madeline Prawl. Madeline Prawl to Cameron. Cameron over to Bauer. Bauer thought about it, kicked it over to Holman, inside to Madeline Prawl, and she gets the hoop with two seconds left in the shot clock. 51-38. Panthers average margin of victory over their opponents is 20 points this season. Looking for their fourth win here tonight in their home opener. Oh, Madeline gets hit in the head. Appears to be okay. 
Cameron at the top of the court. Over to Holman, Holman to Catherine Prawl. Catherine Prawl has it stolen away, but I believe there's gonna be a foul on Tri-State. Two team fouls on Tri-State, five on the Panthers. Panthers need to be careful here. Uh, next foul they commit. They're sending the Tri-State to the line, but they work it inside to Madeline Prawl, and she puts it up and in. 53 to 38, 70 seconds left in this one. Rabbit head. Kicks it cross court to Gawkler. Gawkler back to Rabbit head. Under a minute remaining. Lawrence tries the three-pointer, rims out. Holman comes up with the rebound. Over to Bauer, Bauer up to Catherine. Catherine tries to get it over to Jensted, but it's stolen away by the Tigers. 40 seconds left. Tigers get it up and the ball gets wedged in between the hoop and the rim and the backboard. We'll see which one of these referees has the hops to get up there and smack that ball out of there. Trying to recruit one of the uh, boys basketball players out of the crowd to get it and no, it's wedged in there pretty hard. There we go, the crowd goes wild. <laughs> Student section for the win tonight. 53-38. Tri-State looking for a few more points here before this one wraps up. Rabbit had thought about the three, but Panthers all over. They kick it inside. Owen, Owen gets the little bunny shot off the glass and in. 40 points for Tri-State. Jenstead, Catherine Prawl, Catherine Prawl just hands it off to Bauer and we're gonna Call this one a game and the fourth win of the season for the Great Plains Lutheran girls. 53 to 40 over Tri-State. First conference victory of the season. Fourth of the season. The Panthers are four and one. And they're gonna take a break till after Christmas. They'll be back in January to face Britain Hecla. We'll have it for you here on the live stream. 53-40, Panthers win.